Hey guys, my name's Liam, or Heroic Forging, and um, this is my second map, and it's called Labyrinth. Um, it's a big maze map, probably the biggest I've ever built, and I've built a couple. Um, and it's based around the sort of Colosseum area of Forge World and the four protruding wall Colosseum planes that I've placed down. So it's pretty big, as you can see, just zooming across it, it has a lot of different sections. And um, in this maze map, the objective is to get the oddball, which you can see now. But um, as you can also see, there's no um, there's no entrance into it. So basically, you have to find this teleporter, or the sender node to this teleporter, and that's hidden somewhere in the maze map. So don't be fooled by the oddball marker. Don't head towards it because it might not be there. But um, it's a big map, um, lots of different sections. The rock section, as you can see there, and I've tried to make it random, like the sort of labyrinths you'd find in ancient Greek times. Um, it's pretty random, like you'll just find um, you just find random campsites like these or you might find um, someone's house. <laughs> um, just completely random stuff and it's designed to sort of creep you out I guess. And along with the effects I think it works quite well. It makes it sort of weird. There's a lot of random stuff in the map and that's the sort of feel like I was going for when designing this map. So it's pretty random. Um, just going to show my view here. Um, just walking around these different um, areas. At the moment, I'm outside, but uh, the teleporter could be anywhere. So, just walking around, and you ha you end up having these uh, almost, I would say, fist fights. Although the last fight I just had didn't really demonstrate that. Um, you will find that when playing this map, most of the fights you have with other players will be like um, melee fights. Because it's so close quarters, you won't really um, you won't really shoot each other that much. You'll end up meleeing each other twice to kill each other. That's probably the best way to kill each other because it's just so close quarters. Um, but yeah, I think someone does find it eventually. Um, uh, I think it's speedinator around three minute mark, but I'm gonna end it before that because of um, complications in the video. So this map is pretty big and I know what you're thinking right now, um, you've probably seen plenty of areas where you could get on top of the map. Um, and what I've done to counter that in designing this map is I've put a massive kill boundary on top of the whole map. So anyone who tries to get on the roof will pretty much die immediately um, with no really success. Um, which was, uh, getting on the roof was quite a big problem when I designed my maze map in Halo 3. Um, because of limitations in forge I couldn't put a kill boundary on top which meant everyone could find some sort of way to get on top of the maze and it sort of ruined it a bit really but um, with Halo Reach and its more advanced forging techniques and skills um, you can put kill boundaries and stuff like that to stop people from doing these sorts of things and ruining the map experience so um, it's really helped me out putting a kill boundary on and um, Anything else to add? Uh, what I would say is next week I will be featuring my friend's map. Um, he's called Paul Wa and um, he's a good friend of mine and a really talented forger as well. A nice guy and as you can see I just assassinate him right here. Um, <laughs> uh, he's made some really good maps in the past and I've got a really good one for him to um, talk to you guys about as well. So we're going to be doing a dual commentary. Um, it's called Pyramid of the Undead, so look out for that, and it's, I'm not going to give anything away, but it's a really good map. So um, look out for that next map, guys, and we're going to be doing a dual commentary. Um, other than that, I don't really have much more to say. Um, I really enjoy playing this map, even though I know where everything is. It's really fun playing it, just the sort of feel of walking around in an endless maze. Um, I'd really recommend downloading this, not to sound cocky, but it's pretty good fun, actually. Um... Yeah, um, not really much else to say then other than um, I'll see you next time, guys. Apart from that, I'm out.